I know the lighting looks weird and that's because it is the butt crack of dawn right now. But you guys remember that thing, Mud and Glory, that I told you about maybe a week ago? Well, now it's the time to go. The difference is that Lindsay M. Dillon, my clay sibling in tow, was supposed to come with me. She got really sick with the that one sickness we're not allowed to say on YouTube. So I have to go alone. Thankfully, it's only like an hour drive, but I still don't like going to places I'm invited to by myself. I now have to go by myself. And no shit on Lindsay. Lindsay is very, very supportive of me, but she's more social than I am, so she ends up going places, and when she goes to places, she ends up getting the sick. Uh, a lot more than me, because I only go to like work, gym, here. Like, I only exist in those three places. Which unfortunately means you me. are coming with me. So I made it, and this place is no joke in the literal middle of the woods. In fact, I thought I was um, going to play a Resident Evil game IRL for a while until I saw the giant mansion behind me that is the Curious Forge. No, wait, actually, Resident Evil games still have those. That's where all the danger is now that I think about it. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna see what it's like. It's wild because I see a bunch of stuff everywhere. This isn't like a clay studio. This is like a studio for every single art form. Clay just happens to be the concentration for why I am here. But there's metal working here, there's sculpture here, there's pottery here, there's, they're doing a Raku firing in the back, which I forgot to bring my Raku piece that I was supposed to bring. But don't worry, I am gonna get some Raku footage for you as well as some pottery footage because we are a pottery based channel. Even though I am extremely metal curious at this point. It's strange, but also like very unorganized, but put together at the same time. I don't know how to explain this place. So when you drive up, it's a huge, giant like mansion, but I'm essentially in what is a kitchen right now. But I just found this next to like a lady who makes hats. And it seems like almost every single, for lack of a better term, cubicle in this place has its own thing going on. So it's not just like just clay or just clay or just like someone making hats. If I look over there to the left, there's an entire space full of just like computers. It, lo it looks like a land party is going on over there. This truly is just a space for communal artists. It's not just for one type of person. I'm gonna walk through a little bit and as I walk through, I want you to pay attention to some of the square spaces that I go into contact with. Just walking in looking to the left and right, you're gonna see an entirely different world for every small cubicle. Shy, it's 
It's actually a little bit weird because I signed up to do like the clay clash, which is just a small friendly competition in between a bunch of wheel throwers essentially. But um, I showed up way, way too early. So I showed up at like 9 or 10 a.m. and my slot happens to be at like 5 or 6 p.m. So now I'm just kind of waiting for the food trucks to get here because Dante hungry. I do love this environment though. Every Everything is not really organized, it's just where it's supposed to be, if that makes sense.
Oh, well, that, that was a party. Thank you, Dirty Potters, for joining me today. I loved this. I'm going to make this an event that I'm going to try to get to every single year. It's only an hour long drive away from my house. It's not that far. You know, I can totally make it. I'll probably do a table next year, sell some of my artwork. And it's relatively cheap to come in. I had a great time, had some sake tasting, even got to keep one of the cups. I feel special because I got to keep one of the cups, but I'm pretty sure this just comes with your ticket so everyone gets to keep one of the cups. I'm not doing this again without Lindsay though. I'm not doing it. I'm fat. I am tired. I've been here since 9 a.m. I'm no, Lindsay, you're coming next time with me. No takesies backsies, which is still at the uh, uh, I, I think that still works. Yeah.